day of the random driving somewhere to where we ended up going north if you've been following along on our videos we use a randomizer app to go somewhere and our rules were we had to go at least four hours away from home and that's what we've done this entire trip the last two days we have uh, we've explored all over the place I think we started about five hours from home we went north from there last night we drove and stayed at an Airbnb in the middle of freaking nowhere I don't know if it was an Airbnb it was like a lot it was badass so I'm actually gonna link it down below this guy's cool as shit if you're up here you should go there. Um, but yeah, now we are, uh, I don't know where we're at, but we're at a lake that we heard is really, really good uh, for largemouth and smallmouth. And it's unlike anything I've ever seen before, habitat wise, in one of these lakes that are up here. So I don't know, it's, it's been an interesting morning already. We got kind of a late start. I got the shits. Um, Zark can't figure out how to pay our, our launch fee. Brian needs some smokes. We're, we're, we're not doing very well, so I think it's one of those days where nothing pans out off the water and then everything's gonna pan out on the water. We'll go with that. Okay, let's go. All right, MF first, getting started off on this lake. Brian went to the gas station because, you know, there's no gas stations out here in Narnia. And he's gotta get some smokes, apparently, because he's a sick human being. Anyways, just ran into and talked to. We'll probably see him a little bit later. Josh, the MFer. So Josh saw us driving at a gas station through his town while he was working um, and the other day. He's, he emailed me. He was like, "Dude, you gotta hit some of these lakes. Come try them." And so he recommended this lake. Uh, so huge props to you, Josh, the MFer. And now we're gonna go stick some donks. Zark, is that okay with you? Shake and bake. See, look at this. That a babe. The Zark using the only bait that he ever uses. My new go to. His new go to. The dead gum turd. Out here fishing offshore. Tucker's pumped. This is a spot that Josh the MFer hooked us up with. He said there's green, there's brown, there's pike, there's wall heads, there's everything here. Flippity flop, what's Didn't he got? think he was that big, but he's getting a little bigger. We have no net out. Yeah, we do. We just don't have it next to us. It's right there, right beside you. I can't get to it. That's a small mouth. Dude, it's, it's a, a nice small one, too. Mount. Dude, it's a small mouth. It's a large mouth. It's a small mouth. It's a large mouth. Get out of the way, Chuck. All right. Gatorade. Gatorade. Yeah, bud. <laughs> That's a tank, dude. That's a nice one. That's what they call a tank. Uh, Grotesque. That's a tub. Oh, he's peeing. That's a tub. Nice first fish on the turd. Got a Four nice belly on him. Lips are getting ripped. It's a beauty. Get a weight on him there, Brian. All right, here we go. One pound. Four, 47. Four and a half. That's a built right one. Damn. Four, four, seven, people. Yeah. First yeah, one on this new you. lake. Let's get you a picture. Those are some boulders. There's a big bed and smallmouth. Let's give him a second and come back to him. Is he still on the bed? Uh, You'll see him in a second. Yeah, he's still there. Got him. You bet. Out of his damn mind. Thanks, sir. Damn. He's coming in fast. So. Yeah, he was. Good That's call. A <laughs> That's a pretty solid one. More bed fishing. Guess what I caught him on, Joe? <laughs> Did you see what I got him on? Shokoshi! All right. I just moved out <laughs> off point. I mean, why does that not even look very big to me? That's a freaking tank. It's dead gums. Duh! Oh, yeah, he's a baby. 
$3.99. Not a four pounder, Joe. Nice. First fish of the day. Back to the bed. Let's get paid. Avionics Maps Fishing Challenge. It's a new thing. It's like the Google Earth Fishing Challenge, except for grown-ups. All right, guys, just got off lake number one, big lake, expansive lake, and unfortunately, only caught two of what we're going after. Caught some pikes too, but the two small ones we caught were freaking studs, uh, a four and a four and a half. Um, unfortunately, us and the guy that we were actually friends with that met us here, Josh Emap. Thank you so much. We weren't catching them, and so we are heading to another lake. We're kind of making a gamble. We're heading two hours south of here, and after that, there isn't really a whole lot of other places to go. So we're, we're in it to win it. We're risking it for the biscuit. It. Zark's being sketchy. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in a couple hours. That was interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Uh, if it was anywhere down south, it would not be open, but uh, here's the boat ramp. That's a dog, his name's Tucker. That's a boat ramp, uh, or it, it's out there somewhere, but there is other boats here, as you can see, so that means that we can we can fish here. Uh, pretty good sized lake, again, just weird little connected ponds that are a mile or so across, um, so they're not really ponds, but weird setup lake. Heard there's freaking absolute giants in here so let's go catch some freaking ducks okay let's go okay like number 27 engage so right up here pretty much where this island started it turned into really good grass on top of it it's like it got on top of it it's like five or six seven seven right here What? Brian, you can't stay away from those things. <laughs> a windblown bank with white bass, wow. <laughs> Pretty big one. Well, that's weird. Jonathan, white bass. Another one. Josh would be so happy right now. And we're just giving him a hard time. Brian cannot stay away from the whitey. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Tuck? Anyway, another whitey. <laughs> there we go. Oh, big one. Big one. Net, please. Ah, oh, it's put away. Oh. It said it's put, a, it's put away. Uh, yep, jerkbait bite, huh? First spot, spot dreams are made of. Tanker, can't go wrong with that. Put on the old six cents provoke. We got a road bed that goes across. Off the edge of it, there's grass. Really, really nice, good looking grass. There's gonna be a lot more of these. Up there. What is it? Flippity flop. What do you got? Yeah, giant. Whitey. Old whitey. For those of you watching at home that understand, don't understand what we're talking about, these are white bass. These are not the desired species we are after, but they can be a really good time sometimes. Yeah, next time I'll be able to set the hook. Oh, yeah, that wasn't him, dude. There's a bunch right here. Yeah, I'll probably be by you. You'll be good. That might have been a fish. Ah, look at this guy. Dude, this is a giant. I'm going to need the net for him. Wow! <laughs> 
<laughs> New PB! Well, sorry about that. Little guy. Tucker, you could eat that entire thing. Just came over here because this lake doesn't have near as much natural rock like the rest of the lake. So we're on the road that we just drove over because it's rock, it's all riprap, man-made riprap across here. And the wind's blowing on it. So that's kind of a, a simple spot for us to kind of figure out and cover some water on. We've been doing other things. There's not really anywhere you can, it's clean enough, but I don't <laughs> think they're gonna really be spawning on beds or anything right now. The water's a couple degrees warmer here than it has been elsewhere. So we're really thinking uh, post-spawn fish. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty interesting little deal we got going here. We got freaking cars driving by on the road, splashing water, semi trucks, everything. We're just hoping when we go back out on the road, it's not closed by then if the water comes up higher. That'd be our luck, the way some of the stuff's gone. Some of the shenanigans on this trip. But yeah, a couple more hours. Let's drop some hammers on the deck. <laughs> uh, there we go. Got him. Got him. Coming right at me. Oh, you lost him. I did. I did, in fact. Piss. Got him. Yeah. Yeah. That I bang. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. What do you see? Ryan just got blown up on top water. Over there by that street sign. <laughs> oh. oh, God. And he's gone. Hope he ate it well. <laughs> Somehow only the second small bass. But <laughs> that's fun. That's fun. How many times do you guys do that to me? Uh, <laughs> Go throw in there with the net. Ooh. Hey. Wee a fish. New PB. Hey, it is a fish. This hasn't been the easiest here. Put it on your treble. Melt. Schmelt. Bite the head off it? Gotcha. Yep. Yep, it is. It's a small jaw. You bet! This spot sucks, he says. <laughs> you hope it's a northern. Give you a northern. Way up there in the grass. There's big ones in here somewhere, Jew. Look at that on his tail, dude. <laughs> uh, okay. See ya. Cool. Another provoked fish. Jerking bait. Yeah, uh, that's something we haven't thrown a lot this trip, if you guys are wondering. Why we haven't thrown that a lot is because we're fishing a lot of like isolated rock stuff, natural rock, and we've thrown it and not had any positive feedback. But here we're just covering water because it's all looks the same. It's very expansive. Everything's big. This point goes way out there. It goes way up here. There's grass everywhere. I don't really know why that fish was there, but grass point, I, I suppose. Big grass. Big grass. I mean a big. He's bringing it back. <laughs> Bring it back to the ponytail look. It's pretty sharp, Joe. It's good look for you. Oh, oh, fill my pants. We're gonna have to leave now. <laughs> oh, that could be better. Oh, net please. Oh, it's a giant pike. Giant dude. Might be a musky. I think it's a muskie, actually, to be honest. It's not gonna fit in that. <laughs> I just wanna see him again. He's giant. We're chasing him down, Joe. This thing's the biggest one I've ever seen, minus the one I caught. It might be that big, actually. That's... Is it? Yeah. It's large. Heads up, Tucky. We can make this work here. We'll get him. Yeah. I can't tell if he's like 40 inches or way bigger. Oh, he's like 42. Chasing him down. 
That also helps. Nice. I didn't even know there was season. Yeah, there was on the sign. This is like the first legitimate muskie I've mm. ever hooked, I think. That wasn't like a Nebraska stalker muskie or like in a pond. Ooh, he's big. Yeah. Good thing I put a steel eater on a little bit ago. <laughs> is that the 10 pound test? Uh, yeah, this is 10 pound test actually yeah. on the jerkbait <laughs> stick. But we're on the trolling motor. We got the wind. We're chasing him around. Tucker's ready to bite one. He's got that thing, T-bone. Mm-hmm. I was like, fat, 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 dunk. Mysterious large sea monster. Getting tired. Yeah, it is. 42. It's a nice fish. About that, Jeff. Uh, that's like a that's an average palmy fish too. Nope, 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 nope. We gotta turn the bed the other way. <laughs> Good call. You would have wrecked it. I would have. Turn it to the left here if you can. <laughs> yep. Into the bass net. Pa! <laughs> Woo! That thing's fucking cool, man. That's exciting. She's, you're good. She's out. Oh, she is. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> It's a dadgum tanker musk eye. Beauty musk eye we got here. Woo. Out here, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, but man, she is so beat up. Spawning. Spawning musky. My first ever like northern badass one. Haven't caught one besides like a Nebraska stalker one ever. So super, super cool way to end this trip with a different species in a bass that I'm not pissed off about. I like it. Yeah. Bye, Mama. Uh, yes. It's cool. It's different. It's cool. I like that. That's neat. liked this series um definitely had some trials and tribulations but another epic time we got kind of lucky i think um it, it was not all skill but the lakes we went to were i mean today was the toughest day by far but the first day we caught like 30 plus four 34 pound plus smallmouth second day we started it with a 25 pound limit of smallmouth uh today I caught a big musky and mixed in a bunch of smallmouth at a couple different lakes joe caught a four and a half pound smallmouth it's a good time to get on fish. You guys need to go and do that. Also, you need to go down and comment. Let me know if you want to see more tour videos like this. Um, actually, next time you see me, we have a very, very special guest that I'm freaking jacked about. You guys, are, seriously, it's, it's a clue is something to do with about to what's going to be coming up right now. But um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this entire series. Cue us up. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine